Hey, this is John Galan. I'm going to quickly show you how to set up an Azure CDN backed by an Azure blob storage. The first thing you're going to want to do is create the blob storage. So go to new. Click create. Give your storage a name. We will use CDN X2. I'll select blob storage. Create a new resource group and click create. Next, you're going to create the CDN. Just type in CDN. Click create. Give your CDN a name. We're going to call this CDN X2. We're going to use the same resource group going to select the Akamai standard. Verizon takes about 90 minutes to propagate and Akamai is immediate. And click create. You're then going to want to create a CDN endpoint. Just click on the CDN, click on endpoint, give it a name, say CDN X2. Origin type is storage. Select the blob storage you just created and click add. And then refresh the screen to see your new endpoint. And then go to storageexplorer.com and download the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer to create the container and upload files. Open up the Storage Explorer and log in with your Azure account. Navigate to your blob storage and create a container. We're going to call it files. Next, right click on files. Go to set public access level and choose one of the public read options and click apply. And then upload a file to your container. Copy that URL, go to your browser. Make sure that file is rendering with the blob storage URL. Then test to see if your CDN works. So it'll be the same path. It'll be CDN x2.azureedge.net. So there you go. That's how you create an Azure CDN backed by an Azure Blob Storage.